guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing an unboxing on two figures. Uh, two figures that actually technically go together and two figures that I kind of knew before purchasing weren't the best quality but I still wanted them and I'll explain all of that l later on in the video as I'm showing it to you but these figures I have actually been looking for a while and I've mentioned in my in one of my cleaning up my figure wish list videos yeah I mentioned that I wanted these before and I've been looking for them and I did find them um, I actually went out looking for them finally and I did find them and uh, I'm actually really <laughs> excited despite me knowing that they're probably not the best figures that I own or the best quality but anyways they are the 1 8 scales plex figures which I've never heard of this company before um, this is like the only time I've heard of them, but they are the 1-8 scales <laughs> Chuya and Dazai Plex figures from Bungo Stray Dogs. And I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of really excited. So that one was Chuya, this one is Dazai's, and the boxes are pretty much the same. I ended up finding Chuya through Makari Japan and he was it was listed as like light like new and the only time I think the seller took him out of the box was just to check that it was like all okay so technically he's new and then Daz eyes I bought from a website that I've never bought from before I think it's pretty new I, I want to say it's called it's from Annie Moda I believe and I bought him new so I'm glad that I, I was able to find like the complete set at the same time really because um, I would hate having like <laughs> one of them displayed and one of them missing so okay here we go we're gonna open them up I'm actually gonna open up Chuya's first just because the tabs are already open on him uh, and, and he's been open before but here is the box the box is basically the same for both of them yeah the only difference is the the name over here so it has Chia's name on this one and for Dazai's it has Dazai's name and then on the sides over here on either side um, this is a quote from the show and it's it's somewhere along the lines of just for one night the team that they call double black is returning or something like that which if you guys didn't know Chia and Dazai well I guess you probably already know if you're a fan of the show anyway but for those of you that pro just in case if you don't, when Chuya and Dazai used to be partners in the Port Mafia together, they were called Sokoku, which is double black or twin black or whatever. So um, this quote is from Modi, the boss of the Port Mafia that says, just for one night, Sokoku or double black will return, something like that. He says it in the actual episode that these figures are uh, inspired from or based from and then this is what the back looks like it's showing you how the figures are supposed to um, look together so I guess you can either put them side by side like that or back to back and so let's get started this these figures were actually part of a haul I have yet to record because I'm still waiting for other stuff to come in before I record it. So this is kind of like a sneak peek of <laughs> stuff I got uh, in that haul. Ah! Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so here he is. <laughs> He's super cute. He's pretty. I'm so used to like getting one seven scales now because like a, a ton of my past or past recent pre-orders have been 1-7 scale so now every time I get like a 1-8 scale I'm kind of like I am not used to this this does not feel right first thing I noticed is he actually comes attached to his base and I don't I think he's like glued on there I'm kind of like pulling a teeny bit and it's it looks like his foot is stuck on there so I don't think there's an actual peg to this please correct me if I'm wrong because at the bottom there are these like little what looks like would be a bottom of the peg or where a peg would rise up from the actual base but I mean I don't know I don't want to pull it and then break it but yeah I don't know but it's only one of his feet that go onto a peg the other is kind of just free standing there's nothing under this leg 
um, or the, that foot. The shape of the base reminds me of a pop-up parade. I think I'm not really mad at it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't really mind it. Um, I know the pop-up parade ones are much like thicker, which I kind of hate, but yeah, I don't know. This is pretty small. It's not like unnecessarily large. I, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, going into buying this figure, I already knew that there were some things that I didn't like and I already knew the quality of it wasn't anything to obsess over, but I did buy these figures for a reason and I wanted them for a reason, um, which I will, I will explain once I get both of them <laughs> unboxed so I can actually show you. But I think he's super cute. I mean, like, there's literally nothing special about the way he's painted. He looks... He looks like something you would pick up at a toy aisle. I don't know. He, he just seems very poorly painted. His like face looks a little off too. Like the, the sides of his hair that's supposed to frame his face lift up a little too far away from his face, if that makes any sense. There is shading in his hair, but it's like so messy. The paintwork in his hair is so messy in general. There is like really weird messy paintwork on the on his jacket as well so i don't know i think the cleanest th thing about this figure is the base <laughs> um my god but yeah i i do i do love him at least it looks like chia right like it, it's not so bad that he's like unrecognizable as his character i, I mean you look at this and you know that's that's chia he <laughs> he looks very bland but i'm I'm not mad about it, it's fine. Okay, now we're gonna go on to unbox Da's eyes, which, like I said before, his came in new and unopened, which I'm very happy about. I guess technically Chia's was too, but. Oh, I did wanna mention about the box. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's like, maybe if I put it to the side. If you guys can see this like dark illustration here behind the text, um, there are like lines here too. Man, I really hope the camera's gonna pick that up. But that's that Yokohama Ferris wheel that's illustrated on the box that you see in like so many of the episodes. And I think, I really like that. I think it's a nice touch. Like if they were gonna go for a plain black box, they at least added like something to it, right? I like that, it's a nice touch. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I think Chuyas has it too, but uh, on one of the inner flaps, it has their names on it. So this one's Da's eyes. Something very unfortunate has <laughs> stood out to me right as I unbox this figure. First of all, here he is. Here is our bandage wasting man. He's got his cast on. He, he looks great, right? I mean, as great as a figure like this can get. Um, <laughs> you know, you guys, I did not notice this in like the prototype photos or anything, but if you look at his pants, you know, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> the shading is a bit wrong, not right, very, mm, it either looks like he shit himself <laughs> or he's been rolling around in the grass for way too long because his knees are the same color but like up here okay <laughs> i don't know i don't yeah i don't know why they looked at this and thought yep perfect shading <laughs> i feel like some figures you can kind of turn a blind eye to the way they, they're shaded or painted because it's not that noticeable but i feel like this just this whole thing stands out and I feel like it's distracting me from the entire <laughs> figure itself. I hate it. Yeah, it's it's so, it's so wrong. <laughs> but, um, all right, just like Chuya, he's very messy with paintwork. They're like these, I don't know, they're like splotches. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but maybe it will. But they're like these splotches all over his trench coat. It's also, maybe you'll see it here, at the like hem of his vest, right where his hand is, right above his hand. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, yeah, and there's like splotches in between his, um, it's on his vest, but in between his like cast. 
I don't know if you'll be able to see that either. There's not really much I can say other than these are like <laughs> horribly painted figures. And here's the kicker y'all. You would think when looking at these figures that they were made like, I don't know, 2016 at least when like the first season came out or something. These figures came out in 2020. Y'all, I didn't know that until recently and now I'm kind of like so confused because they literally look like they were done in like early days when like people wouldn't really care about like shading and whatnot. They kind of just wanted a figure of their favorite characters to display. Do you know what I mean? Like I look at these and I see that 2020 day and I'm like, there's no way. That is, I feel like that is, that is crazy to me. And they're scale figures. So it's not like they're prize figures or anything. They're scale figures and they're painted, I don't know, like that. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so let me explain why I actually wanted these figures despite them being so horribly painted. I actually have a few reasons. So first off, obviously it's from a series that I like and two of my favorite characters are here, right? Um, thirdly, <laughs> they are my favorite ship in the series. So of course I wanted them together. Thirdly, I meant secondly. I don't know what number I'm on. Um, <laughs> next up, this is from, I think one of my favorite episodes from that season. I absolutely love, and I just eat up any interaction I get of these two together. And I feel like it was such a big thing for these two to reunite after it was like four years. It was it was so badass. I absolutely love it. And I love the scene. If you, ha if you can't tell already, if you haven't been able to tell, but this is from the scene of the series. And I'll put the screenshot up of when they finally come together and they are actually doing this pose as this quote <laughs> is being spoken by the Port Mafia boss. It made something in me scream <laughs> internally. I absolutely love it. So that that's actually like the main reason. I don't know, even if these are like really poorly painted figures, they're also cute in a way. I feel like everyone or most people have that one figure that is probably horribly painted or doesn't doesn't reach your standard of quality but something in it in you still wants it maybe it's because of the character maybe it's because of the scene maybe i don't know it, it holds a special place in your heart still and you still have to get it and you're willing to make an exception because of that that's kind of how i feel about these guys we also don't have figures of these two that go together i mean there is one coming out by fnex but man I did pre-order it. Let me let me let me let me say that first. I did pre-order it. But man, it is not the best looking figure. I feel like the best scale that came out of any of these characters was the Dazai one from 2016, which is that one, which is so surprising because that was done in 2016 and these were done in 2020. I again, I'm not familiar with the company plex so i should have actually looked them up to see what other figures they've done and how their quality has improved since 2020 <laughs> but i didn't uh, because i honestly i either way i couldn't care less i would still get these but yeah uh these are probably the ugliest figures i own and I still really love them very, very much. Um, I also do want to say that even though these are horribly painted, I think the fact that I have both of them together makes them look so much better than if I were to only have one of them. I feel like having one of them, one, it gives it less dynamic. And I feel like if there's less dynamic and on top of it, the figure's horribly painted, I feel like that would make everything so much more worse for the figure in my opinion. Uh, but the fact that they are together and they're meant to be together and then there is this like dynamic between the two, I'm hoping that makes sense, makes this so much better and justifies getting them a little more for me. So yeah, I, 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 th I think that's important to also point out too. Uh, so uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. 
uh, I still need to I still need to film a haul video which again like I said these are going to be in it I have a ton of stuff that's like I have a ton of stuff that need to go in that video and I don't know how I'm gonna do it without making the video way too long but anyways I hope you're looking forward to that thank you guys so much for watching sorry this video was all over the place and I was stuttering a lot but um, I still hope you enjoy it nonetheless please make sure you leave a like comment let me know what you think about these figures and I will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys